We believe a male contraceptive is really important as a means of understanding that family planning is a shared responsibility. It shouldn't just be the woman's responsibility. The Population Council developed methods for contraception for women are used by over 170 million women around the world today. Men have a few options. They have condoms, there's male vasectomy, and then there's withdrawal. There are two main challenges to developing male contraception. One is biology. With female contraception, what you're trying to do is prevent the release of one egg every month. Men produce millions of sperm every day, and you need to be able to suppress that sperm adequately. The other big challenge to developing male contraception is funding. And there's historically just been more funding, I think, available to develop female contraception. We're really excited about our phase two male contraceptive gel trial. We're enrolling 420 couples in seven countries around the world. The male rubs the, the gel, which is a relatively small amount on his, on his shoulders usually, or the upper arms. And that gets into the bloodstream. And that very selectively addresses the production of sperm in the testes. What we call it is sometimes the nest test gel, and that just reflects the components of the gel, nesterone and testosterone. We're very careful about uh, measuring testosterone levels, which is, I think, the uh, proxy for libido, and so we add in some testosterone to make sure the levels are normal for men. Almost half of the pregnancies in the United States today are unintended. The more that men are involved in these kinds of decisions on the personal level, the more engagement they might have at the societal level too. We think that more options for women or men equate to better health outcomes for everyone. It leads to equity between men and women, more opportunities for particularly women in the workforce. Our belief is that each individual should have control over his or her fertility. Thank you.